Yes, so on front of the guard, we are looking at the double ankle graft sweep. That's the first sweep from the position. So we just start from trance of the guard. So I've got the spider hook in, I've got my grips, and we've got our utility leg or floating leg. It could be in the mat, it could be in the hip, it could be in the shoulder. Okay, so we want to um, make a manufactured response of Jason stepping forward with two legs. So I'm going to be pulling on the collar grip using my spider hook to flare um, Jason's right elbow. My foot's on the mat, and I'm physically lifting my hip and pulling Jason forward to get his two feet at my hip line. The second I get them at the hip line, I'm letting go of my grips, finding the pants. My left foot's coming off his bicep and it's going to be um, biting into his right hip. Now I don't want him falling on my, my utility leg, my right leg, so my right knee stays on the outside. My left foot just comes in under his um, right butt. And now from here, I lift my hips up in the air and I also push up with my feet with my grips. So I'm actually trying to make um, Jason go up on his toes. But keep the grip um, with your left hand. So it's this movement here to put it down. I'm gonna use that movement to come up. So notice the way I've kept my grips. So my right knee comes up. I'm gonna windshield wipe or my right foot out, and I can drive forward and start to work the pass. Again, now we're nearly into half guard from this position. I can put my knee in the mat, make the grips, back step, elbow drop, and go into long stepping. But um, we're not worried too much about the pass at the end, we're just in the half guard passing. Now I'm just going to get on that drop. Just there. <coughs> so, from Tarantula Guard, so I've got my spider hook in, I've got my, my um, grip. A lot of times when you're playing Tarantula Guard, people don't realise you're playing it, they just think you're playing spider guard with one hook in. And a lot of the times from there, let's just say, what's playing spider guard? Jason's going to make grips on my pants and kind of walk backwards. And now he's, yeah, keep walking. And he's nearly going to walk back to try and stuff my feet to the mat. Sometimes that's a response. So if he's doing that, when I'm here, when he walks forward, he can't, because of this right hand grip, but he walks actually, sorry, backwards, I just go with him. Okay. He physically can't stuff my spider hook off because of the right hand grip. And if he does that response, now I'm just back in my move again. I plant my foot on the mat and physically make him take that step. Okay. From there, make the grips, put them down. Again, this ability to be able to come up without letting go of my hands, or let, letting go of um, my grips on his pant legs. So I'm gonna build a base. So I put all the weight on my right elbow. I'm gonna build a base on my right knee, and then a windshield wiper my right foot so i'm driving forward to this position here and again you know whatever pass presents itself from here i can make grips got my knee to the mat head goes in that far shoulder back step out switch grips and we're into our long step pass this one more angle than that bro just your there <coughs> so yeah <laughs> no, don't worry about the radiator. So I'm playing um, trance to the guard, I've got my grips, maybe Jason walks backwards, no problem, I can make him take that step. I make my grips, left foot's over his right hip, right foot comes in, making my grips I'm pushing upwards to really get him on his toes as I lift my hips and I'm coming up to build that base. Using the momentum of him falling backwards to take me up. So again from here, another option we could be thinking about is not dropping my left knee to the mat. I can put my left hand on the mat on the back step and drop into some kind of side control. So that is our first sweep from Tarantula Guard, the double ankle grab sweep.